Hello friends and welcome to Study Lab. Let us continue with sets and relations. In this video, what we are going to see is loss of algebra of sets. Now, this is a very important concept, very important for you. So, this is loss of algebra of sets. So, we have already studied what is algebra of sets, union, intersection, difference and all that. In this video, we are going to see this law which are satisfied by the sets. So first of all, we have the identity law, okay? So the first one we have is the identity law. Now what is satisfied in the identity law, okay? So in the identity law, we have laws like this. A union, the empty set, will be equal to A. And A intersection, the universal set, okay, that will be also equal to A. So this is what is included in the identity law. A union with the empty set is the set itself and A intersection with the universal set is also A. Second, we have the idempotent law. Now what is the item potent law? In that, it means if we take union of A with A, no matter how many times we will take the union, we will get the set itself. Even if a set comes A union, A union, A union, A, even if it comes 100 times, it will be counted as only one, okay? Similarly, A intersection with A, even if this set is counted 100 times, even then this value will also be equal to A. So this is the idempotent law, okay? Next we have the commutative law. Now what, what is in the commutative law? In commutative law, we can commute the values, <coughs> the set can be interchanged in their positions. So A union B can be written as B union A and it will be the same thing, no difference. A union B is the same as B union A. Also, A intersection B will be same as B intersection A. We can interchange the two sets, that is what is we have in commutative law. We can change the position of sets. Next, we have the associative law. Now, what is there in the associative law? If there are three sets, A union, B union, C, but the brackets are on B union, C. That means we will first find B union C and then we will find union with A. But by associative law, we can interchange the position of the brackets. That means we can change the order in which the sum is getting solved. What is to be solved second and third and then with solve with first, we can change the order of the sum. First and second will be first solved and then it will be solved with the third set. We can do that. That is what is associative law is saying. But for that, everything should be either union or it should be intersection. So A intersection, B intersection, C can also be written as A intersection, B intersection, C. <coughs> so this is what we have in the associative law. The next law that we have is the distributive law. The name itself suggests what is going to happen in distributive law. Obviously, the operations will be distributed. So, A union B intersection C, okay, union intersection both. Union can go inside the bracket, okay? So that can be distributed. Union can be distributed over intersection. So you will have A union B intersection 
A union C. So this is how the distribution will happen. It's like multiplying the brackets. Okay. So A will be distributed to B. It will be distributed to C also. So you'll get A union B intersection A union C. Similarly, intersection can also be distributed over the union. A intersection B union C can be written as A intersection B union A intersection C. So this is what is happening in the distributive law. Next we have the De Morgan's law. In this, the complement is getting distributed over union or intersection. So A union B, the whole complement, this can be written as A complement, B complement and their intersection. Remember, while the complement goes inside, union will become intersection. Similarly, a intersection B the whole complement, this will become A complement union B complement. So this is what is happening in the De Morgan's law. So these are some of the laws that we have studied. Okay, now these laws have got some particular names. There are some more laws, but they do not have names for them. Okay, so let us see what is the next law. So in the next law, we have A minus B. What is A minus B can be written as? It can be written as A intersection B complement. A minus B can be written as A intersection B complement. Similarly, B minus A can be written as B intersection A complement. Okay. So A minus B can be written as A intersection B complement, B minus A can be written as B intersection A complement. So these are some of the laws of algebra offset. There are few more that we will see in the coming videos. So stay tuned to study life. Mm -hmm.